South Korea's President Moon Jae-in has urged people not to lower their guard in the battle against the coronavirus. This comes after South Korea reported 34 new cases of COVID-19 in just a single day. Moon said the country needed to brace for a second wave of the pandemic. The country has been widely praised for containing its coronavirus outbreak and last week began easing restrictions. The fun didn't last long. This is one of the three clubs a 29-year-old man visited before testing positive for COVID-19. So far, more than two dozen cases have been linked to nightclubs in the Itaewon district in Seoul. Authorities are currently tracking thousands of people who visited any of the clubs. The Seoul mayor quickly put the lockdown brakes on. Uh, the city of Seoul issues an order immediately prohibiting gatherings in all entertainment facilities, including nightclubs, club-like bars and hostess bars. From this moment, such facilities have to suspend their business and will face strict punishment if they breach the order. People working in the district are on high alert. We hope customers will be more cooperative when we ask for their names for visitor records. We all need to work together for a better future. I think this incident could have happened anywhere, not just in Itaewon. South Korean President Moon Jae-in is warning of a second wave of infections. The infection cluster, which recently occurred in entertainment facilities, has raised awareness that, even during the stabilization phase, similar situations can arise again anytime, anywhere in an enclosed, crowded space. It's not over until it's over. The new infections are a blow to South Korea's image as the role model in the fight against the coronavirus. And they could be a warning sign to other countries considering easing restrictions. And joining me now from Seoul is correspondent Frank Smith. Hello to you, Frank. Now, South Korea has been considered a role model in its handling of coronavirus. Now we're seeing this relapse. Did the easing of restrictions come too soon? I think that's really a, a very, very difficult question. We need to recognize a couple of things we know about the coronavirus, COVID-19. Number one, it's highly contagious. Number two, people can spread it with when they are not showing symptoms. And uh, initial media reports indicate the patient that visited Itaewon uh, to visit at several nightclubs didn't have any symptoms when he visited there. So that makes it extra difficult to determine that question that really uh, balances the economy uh, with uh, public health. And, and that's a very, very difficult question to answer, I think. Well, we've heard from the president that a second wave of infections is a possibility. How can South Korea prevent that? Well, it has quite successfully gotten, uh, you know, off and the infection level down to even zero per day uh, domestically through its intense testing and contact tracing, which it's doing now to try to track down all of those visitors to Itaewon on the nights in question. I've received several text messages to my phone telling me if I visited there that I should come forward and, and get a test. And it's going to continue to do that to try to you know, contain this uh, recent cluster. And what do you think other countries could learn from the experience of South Korea? Well, I really think that the president said it best in, in his speech, which you highlighted uh, just early, uh, just earlier. This isn't over uh, until it's over. Frank Smith reporting from Seoul. Thank you very much.